8051 assembly language program to count number of ones in any number and store result in any register so for example suppose we want to count number of ones if this number is given and we want to count number of one so number of ones in this given number is one two and three so result of this program should be three and this three should be stored in register so we'll store this result in register r5 we can take any number suppose number is like this then number of ones in this number are four so result should be four and this result should be stored in register r5 so for writing this program we'll use a logic we'll store this number in accumulator and at one at a time we'll rotate this number in left direction or in right direction with carry so we'll use instruction rotate right with carry or rotate left with carry so when you rotate one time for example right uh, in right direction with carry in this example this one will be stored in carry flag so in carry flag will get one and these bits will be shifted in right direction so here we'll get one this bit will be shifted at lsb bit this zero will be shifted at next bit this zero will be shifted here this zero will be shifted here one will be shifted at this zero position this zero will be shifted at this one position one will be shifted here and since it is rotation operation this lsb will be now uh, new msb so this one will be stored at a msb position so new number will be like this and in carry flag lsb bit will be stored we'll check after rotation operation whether carry is one or zero if carry is one will increment contents of r5 by 1 so initially we'll initialize r5 with 0 0 after first rotation if carry is 1 r5 will be incremented by 1 next we'll again rotate this number by 1 with carry so this will be stored in carry and again the rotation is performed so actually i have shown here this rotation without carry flag but actual rotation is performed whatever carry bit is stored that will be stored as a lsb so this rotation is without carry but if we are using rotation with carry the contents of carry will be stored as a new msb we are not interested in new msb we want to check only this 8 bits one by one so we have to perform this rotation operation eight times so for that we'll initialize counter with value 8 because eight times eight digits we want to check whether it is 1 or 0 so eight time we'll rotate this number and check a carry flag whether it is 1 or 0 so counter should be initialized with value 8 register r7 will use as a counter now let us understand this flow chart of writing a program of this particular statement so first is start we are using r7 as a counter so we'll initialize this counter with number 8 because eight times we want to repeat this operation the result we are going to store in register r5 so r5 is initialized with value 00 whatever number we want to use for this operation that will store in accumulator so any number can be stored in accumulator then we'll perform first time a rotate operation we can use rotate left or rotate right so we can perform any operation rotate left or rotate right operation but this operation is with carry rotate left or right operation should be with carry 
so if carry weight is 1 then we have to increment the result register by 1 if carry is not there no need to perform any operation on register r5 but directly we will decrement the counter because we have performed this rotation operation one time and we have checked one bit so even if after increment of r5 we have to decrement counter because one operation is over or one bit checking is over then we'll decrement the counter and after that we'll check whether counter is zero or not if counter is zero that means all bits are checked whether they are one or zero so we can end this and result will be stored in r5 register if counter is not zero will again perform this rotate operation rotate left or right with carry and if carry is 1 increment r5 decrement counter if carry is 0 directly decrement counter till counter is equal to 0 now we will write to program so first in accumulator we will store a number on which we want to perform this operation that means we want to count number of ones from this number so any number we can use here 8 bit number suppose I use 35 H so 35 H in binary will get 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 so our result should be 4 that means in R5 register we should get a value 4 4 number of ones are there then we initialize the counter we are going to use register r7 as a counter any other register can be used as a counter so we'll initialize it with 08h so this is used as a counter this is a number which we want to use for operation then result we are going to store in r5 register so r5 should be initialized with value 00h so this is result register and then we can use any operation rotate left or rotate right i will use here rrc operation rotate accumulator right with carry so rrc operation will use and here after this operation we will check carry flag so i will use here instruction jump no carry if carry is not there then jump to label n1 so if carry is not there it will go to label n1 but if carry is there it will execute a next instruction so if carry is there we want to increment register r5 so we can write here register r5 some assembler will not execute this instruction directly so for that use we can use inc 05h where 05H is address of register R5. So instead of directly writing this name of register, we can use instruction INC 05H. That is direct addressing mode. So assembler may not provide register addressing mode. So this instruction can be replaced with this. So we are incrementing register R5. After this, we want to decrement a counter and check whether it is 0 or not. So we will use instruction DJNZ, decrement and check whether R5, sorry, R7 is 0 or not, counter is 0 or not. So this instruction will decrement R7 and if it is not 0, it will go to label. So I am giving here label F. So if R7 is not 0, again we want to execute rotation operation. So we will write here label up. And if it is 0, we want to end this program. So as an end instruction, I will write as jump here. Here label will go give to this particular instruction. So continuously to end this program, controller will continuously execute this instruction. Now if carry is there, we are incrementing R5, decrementing uh, this uh, counter and if counter is not 0, again we are performing rotation operation. But if carry is not there, we don't want to execute this instruction, but we want to decrement a counter. So we want to jump to this instruction. So L1 label should be given to this instruction. 
so this program will count number of ones in any number and result will be stored in register r5 so any number 8 bit number we can store here and we can check the answer Thank you.